Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about role-based access control for Azure resources. And we will talk about how Azure RBAC works, what we can do with Azure RBAC, and multiple role assignments, deny assignments, and I will show you how to grant a user access to Azure resources using the Azure portal. What is role-based access control for Azure resources? Azure role-based access control is a system that provides fine-grained access management of Azure resources. Using Azure RBAC, you can segregate duties within your team and grant only the amount of access to users that they need to perform their jobs. What can I do with RBAC? Here are some examples what you can do with RBAC. Allow one user to manage virtual missions in a subscription and another user to manage virtual networks. Allow a DBA group to manage SQL databases in a subscription and allow a user to manage all resources in a resource group such as virtual missions, websites, databases, subnets, network security groups. Allow an application to access all resources in a resource group. Best practice for using RBAC. Using RBAC you can segregate duties within your team and grant only the amount of access to users that they need to perform their jobs. Instead of giving everybody unrestricted permissions in your Azure subscription or resources, you can allow only certain actions at particular scope. If you are a DBA, if someone wants to access a virtual missions, you can just give them the read access so that they cannot make any changes to virtual mission. How RBAC works? The way you control access to resources using RBAC is to create role assignments. This is a key concept to understand is how permissions are enforced. A role assignment consists of three elements, security principle, role definition, and scope. And we will talk about all these three elements now security principle a security principle is an object that represents a user group service principle or managed identity that is requesting access to azure resources if you see in the diagram you can see user group service principle managed identity Let's talk about user, an individual who has a profile in Azure Active Directory. You can also assign roles to users in other tenants. For information about users in other organizations, you have to check Azure Active Directory B2B. Group, a set of users created in Azure Active Directory. A group is set of users created in Azure Active Directory. When you assign a role, to a group, all users within that group have that role. Service principle, a security identity used by applications or services to access specific Azure resources. Platform managed identity, an identity in Azure Active Directory that is automatically managed by Azure. You typically use managed identities when developing cloud applications to manage the credentials for authenticating to Azure services. Role definition. A role definition is a collection of permissions. It is typically just called a role. A role definition lists the operations that can be performed such as read, write, and delete. Roles can be high level like Warner or specific like virtual mission reader. So Azure includes several built-in roles that you can use or you can create a custom roles. I will show you when we are in Azure portal, I will show you how to use built-in roles. And if you want to create a custom role, you can do that. 
let's talk about these roles. Owner, owner has full access to all resources, including the right to delegate access to others. A next role, contributor role. A contributor role, who has contributor role, they can create and manage all types of Azure resources, but they cannot grant access to others. Reader role. If anyone has a reader role, they can view existing Azure resources, but they cannot make any changes to the existing resources because they have only read access. Next one, user access administrator. User access administrator role lets you manage user access to Azure resources. Scope. Scope is the set of resources that access applies to. When you assign a role, you can further limit the actions allowed by defining a scope. In Azure, you can specify a scope at multiple levels, management group, subscription, resource group, or resource. Scopes are structured in a parent-child relationship. When you grant access at a parent scope, those permissions are inherited to the child scope. Example, if you assign one role to a user at the management group scope, the user can manage everything in all, subscription, all subscriptions in the management group. If you assign that reader role to a group at the subscription scope, the members of that group can view every resource group and resource in the subscription. Role assignments. A role assignment is the process of attaching a role definition to a user, group, service principle, or managed identity at, at a particular scope for the purpose of granting access. The following diagram in the picture uh, in the diagram you can see it is example of a role assignment in this example the marketing group has been assigned the contributor role for the pharma sales resource group this means that users in the marketing group can create or manage any azure resource in the pharma sales resource group. Marketing users do not have access to resources outside the pharma sales resource group unless they are part of another role assignment. Multiple role assignments. What happens if you have multiple overlapping role assignments? RBAC is an additive model, so your effective permissions are the sum of your role assignments. Deny assignments. Azure RBAC was an allow only model with no deny earlier, but now Microsoft Azure RBAC supports deny assignments in a limited way. Similar to a role assignment, a deny assignment attaches a set of deny actions to a user group, service principle, or managed identity at a particular scope for the purpose of denying access. You can restrict the user group service principle, like you know, accessing some resources in Azure. You can put that deny role, deny assignments. Let's talk about Azure RBAC roles. What are different RBAC roles? As I said earlier, Warner has full access to all resources and he can delegate access to others in the organization. Contributor role. The contributor role who has, if anyone has contributor role, they can create and manage all types of Azure resources. They can create a new tenant in Azure Active Directory, but they cannot grant access to others. Reader role. You can give a reader role access to users, but they can only view the Azure resources, but they cannot make any changes into the, they cannot make any changes in existing Azure resources. User access administrator. They can manage user access to Azure resources. Azure Active Directory administrator roles. 
there are three ad roles azure active directory administrator role global administrator user administrator billing administrator let's check each administrator role permissions global administrator can manage access to all administrative features in azure active directory as well as services that federate to azure active directory and global administrator can assign administrator roles to others he can reset the password for any user and all other administrators let's talk about user administrator user administrator can create and manage all aspects of users and group he can manage support tickets and monitor service health he can change passwords he can reset passwords for users help desk administrator and other other user admins billing administrator role he can make purchases manage subscriptions manage support tickets and monitors service help now we'll log into azure portal now i will show you how to grant a user access to azure resources using the azure portal and i will show you how to use a built-in roles or if you want to create a custom role i will show you how to create a custom role I'm in the Azure portal now. I'll just go to home. I'll just type a resource group. I'll just create a resource group. I'll just say a resource group for test purpose. So region East US. And let's create this resource group. Now our resource group is created. Let's go to access control under the overview activity log. You can see access control. Click on access control. Now you can see plus add. Click on add. Here you can add a role assignment, add co-administrator, and add custom role. Azure has a built-in roles. You can use built-in roles or you can create a custom role. I'll show you how to add a role assignment. Click on add role assignment. So these are all Azure built-in roles. So I'll just click on reader. So if I give this reader role access, the users can view all Azure resources, but they cannot make any changes assign access to azure active directory user group and our service principal now if you have multiple user in the organization just type you can see their user but here i have only few users i'll just pick the development this is the member name i'll just save it now the development user can read the resources And you can go here and then here we can see the owner for this resource group learning part he is the owner and then we just granted a reader role to the development user so if you want to remove any roles from the user just click on the user and select the user i want to remove the reader role that we just granted to development i want to revoke this reader role from development user so i will select this development user and here you can see remove are you sure you want to remove the selected role assignments yes now we can just refresh it now we don't see any user here now if you want to add another role assignment to another user example if you want to give a contributor role to some other user contributor role they can make changes in virtual missions i will select a test user set now adding role assignment now let's just refresh it now here we can see the test user has contributor role access so i will show you a custom how to add a custom role 
I won't create it, but I will show you how to add a custom role. Just create a role name, let's just say test role. And then you need to give some description, read access, like whatever you want to do, like, you know, for, and then you have to add permissions, like, you know, which resource, if you want to choose virtual missions, here you can see all related. So you need to example search for virtual missions to find, to find permissions related to virtual mission. You have to select one and then go to assignable scopes and then review just create it this you can create a custom role so this is how you can add a role assignments to the user this is how you can revoke revoke a role assignments from the user and this is how you can use built-in azure built-in roles or you can create a custom role If you have any questions on RBAC roles, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.